I'll try my best, so. Then do it. Unless you're scared. <laughs> no prisoners. <laughs> hey, Finny. You should stay in the open. No one will hear your screams in here. See the sign? It says boys. Yeah, boys, not fags. Oof. <laughs> fuck with Finn again. I fuck with you. Come on, guys, you're three. You can take him. What did you say to Amy about her brother Bruce? Just that I had a dream about him. What happened in your dream? He was taken, that's all. By a man with black balloons in a van. Yes. We found two black balloons at the scene, Gwen. How did you know about the balloons? What aren't you telling us, Gwen? Either there's a leak in the department or... Or what? I'm the grabber? No. No, but your dad, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I took him down, because obviously I'm the grabber, you dumb fucking fart knocker. Gwen, don't... <laughs> Sorry! Oh, Why did the police come to my work? I don't know! You are not... Your mother! That means you do not hear things. They're not there. And your dreams. They're just fucking dreams. No, they're visions. And it lies in the family. So the boy probably has some kind of skill too. Maybe he just hasn't learned it yet. <laughs> Surely she shouldn't sit after that. You know, kid named Robin Ar 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 Ariana. Well, we know what's going to happen next. The three Stooges will attack because his protector is gone. What the hell did she do now? We're sorry, Mr. Blake. Your daughter hasn't done anything. But is there any way we can speak with her? The family's name is Blake? And the movie's called Black Phone? Black Blake? Hmm, I think I have a vision. Look at that. As expected. Fucking cock sucking cowards! Where did she learn those words? What the fuck? How old is she? Fuck you too, ugly ass face. Mm. <laughs> oh, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Are those black balloons in there? Yeah. How does nobody see this? For oh, Christ's sake. Ear for ring. I'm gonna go see who it is. Then I'll get you a soda. Then I'll come back and explain everything. Hmm? Sounds good. Mr. What's your name? Black phone? Why is that phone even there in the basement? It doesn't work. Not since I was a kid. Hang it up. Speaking of you and speaking of kid, surely I'm not the only one who thinks these two look alike? Why is he actually wearing that mask? He saw his face. Finn saw his face earlier. Who is this? So this whole black phone thing is probably just his inherited superpower, huh? That he can talk to the dead. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't find that suspicious that the boy I kidnapped suddenly rolled out a carpet. Why don't you just use these carpet rolls to stand on? Okay, that's a bit too convenient that that just worked. <laughs> the grabber doesn't seem to be home, huh? 
He never hears anything. All the kids live in the same district, right? They'll walk to and from school. They were all grabbed on the way home from school, which means that the grabber has to live somewhere in this area right here. Mr. It's Max. Mr. Max. It's not Mr. Max. It's just... It's just Max. My friends call me Max. <laughs> They're going to arrest him. <laughs> I want to tidy up before your brother gets home. God damn it, Max. <laughs> now that was a weird transition. It looked like this basement is directly under Max's house. You can blindfold me. Drop me off on the street, I'll walk home. Well, tell me your name. Taylor Moore. I was really starting to like you. Finny. I almost let you go. <laughs> Dude, why would you risk falling asleep with the door open? Or what so it is? Max's house? But how is that supposed to work? Both brothers live live in the same house? And yet one of them doesn't know anything about what's going on here? Maybe you should just stab him while he's sleeping there. Just cut his throat. Is there no other way out here? No window? One fucking word and I will gut you like a pig right here in the street. Bit close to your house, huh? What was all that noise I heard? Samson was barking at something. It's nothing. Go back to bed, Max. I don't really understand that brother situation there. The grabber sat there with his mask on. In the kitchen. He didn't see him. There's an outlet in the shitter across from the john. Break it to the wall about two feet above the outlet till you get to a panel with screws in it. <sighs> Why does he still have that actually? Why didn't the grabber grab that? Especially after he hurt him with that thing. He never goes through his victim's pockets. I guess too bad he didn't have a gun on him, huh? The grabber wouldn't have found it. You're gonna use a weapon. The one in your hand. Fill the receiver with dirt. Pack it in tight. Give it some heft. You raise the phone. Take a fast step back. Step forward, step back, and swing. Again. You raise the phone. Take a fast step back. Maybe you should practice with the dirt in the phone. This was the last call, Finn. Saw you from here on out. All right, the end is near. I guess the grabber will get away and his brother will take the fall. So there's the option for a sequel. Why can't he just break that window? Why hasn't he tried to get up there again? Also, what actually happened to that grid that covered it? No fucking way. <laughs> I knew that he was hiding something from me down here. But holy Mary, mother of God. Please. Oh. Hey, you want to know the story about how I found you, man? No, 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 hey, no, no, no. Don't worry about it. No, we can no, talk no, about no. this. <laughs> Poor Max. Now he can't even take the fall. Also, what a brother. He didn't even try to talk to him. Hey, so you found my little secret, huh, bro? Uh... We keep it between us, right? Bro? You made me kill my brother. No, it wasn't me. Uh, yeah, he, he didn't do anything. He was an idiot, but he was my idiot. <laughs> Clear. Clear. That looked like the wrong house. Is it maybe across the street? <laughs> but I love that they broke into this house just because of a girl's dream. Oh, there it is, the grid. Oh, 
<laughs> Dude, what's his obsession with the mask? He didn't give a shit about the mask when he caught him. Yeah, the kid should not be strong enough to strangle him. I can't kill you, you puta. So Finn is gonna do it Dude, for you. Dude, how can he? Uh, what was that? Don't tell me he just broke his neck or some shit like that. What the fuck was that? Why do they have to ruin it? Ah. Oh. I think he kills them someplace else. How rich is that guy actually that he has two houses? What was his work? <laughs> that he could afford this? They didn't seem like a very rich family, those two brothers. They seemed like working class. Construction worker, plumber, that kind of working class. <laughs> what the fuck? It's really just the opposite side. <laughs> Dude, what? So somehow the brother own two houses in the same street, opposite each other. The grabber, I mean, of course, not his brother. Why is it that horror movies are always so fucked up? In terms of coherent writing. It's like the horror writers are missing some part of their brain. They can only produce ideas, but no, but no coherent story. 